Hi, welcome. This video will discuss what you have to do to perform the pull-up. Now, what is the pull-up? The pull-up is one of the fundamental calisthenics or gymnastics exercises that promotes building tremendous strength in the back muscles. If done correctly, it will establish a great posture and potential transferable strength for more complicated gymnastics or calisthenics skills such as the one-arm chin-up or the front lever. Let's move on to the mechanics of the pull-up. To execute the pull-up, one must maintain a solid scapula engagement throughout the motion to prevent injury and maximize strength development. Thus, I say that you should start from a dead hang, depress the shoulder blades by pulling the shoulders down, then pull as high as possible. Keep in mind that the technique I intend to teach focuses on the type of pull-up that maximizes the development of muscles and strength. Thus, I do not want to discuss the mechanics of a specific, or competitive as others would say, type of pull-up that might promote injury among the viewers. A common mistake that I often see people make is shortening the range of motion. Again, this video intends to offer the technique of a pull-up that maximizes strength and muscle development. Thus, the full range of motion targets all the necessary muscles activation throughout the movement. Next, let's discuss how one can build strength to perform the pull-up. At this juncture, I want to focus on two main exercises that will certainly aid you in building strength towards the pull-up. Again, the goal is to develop the back muscles and biceps to execute the skill. Ergo, the best exercise to start with it when it comes to doing the pull-ups is the Australian pull-ups. This exercise is essentially the bodyweight version of a row. It targets the similar muscles activated during the pull-up, but is more accessible to adjust in difficulty due to the body's position. The body's function also allows for a horizontal pulling movement that differs from a regular pull-up, executed through a vertical pulling motion. Start by grabbing the bar or the rings, then lean backwards so that the legs do not offer much support. Afterward, Depress the end retract the scapula to prevent injury and maximize the utilization of the latissimus torsi, rhomboids, and trapezius muscles. Finally, execute the motion by bending the arms and endeavoring to pull the rings into your chest. Remember to keep the body as straight as possible and avoid compensation of the abdominal area. Adjust the difficulty of this exercise by having the body more horizontal. The following exercise that would undoubtedly build strength for the mentioned exercise is the pull-up eccentrics. As I have mentioned in the former video, eccentrics serve as excellent means to strengthen the muscles involved in the movement instead of testing them. To perform this exercise correctly, jump to the top portion of the pull-up while fighting to keep the shoulder blades depressed, then slowly lower down until your elbows reach an utterly straight position. Let's further discuss the types of pull-ups you can do once you achieved proper strength for the exercise. The first type is the conventional pull-up. The conventional pull-up became known for serving as one of the essential bodyweight exercises since it strengthens the biceps and the latissimus dorsi. Perform this type of pull-up by depressing the scapula and keeping a neutral position of the shoulder blades, i.e. neither retracted nor protracted. The second type is the chin-up. This movement is similar to the conventional pull-up. The difference centers on that it focuses more tension on the biceps. Perform this movement with the similar mechanics of the first type, but grip the bar supinated. The last type is the perfect pull-up. This type of pull-up is unquestionably more challenging than the two formerly mentioned since it focuses mainly on developing most of the back muscles i.e. not only the latissimus dorsi. Perform this by engaging the scapula through retraction and depression, then have the pelvis anteriorly tilted. Pull as high as you can while keeping the said scapula engagement. Finally, let's talk about recovery. After training pulling movements, I suggest a minimum of 48 hours of rest to ensure complete recovery before training the exercise again. The recovery process may vary from person to person, hence, I recommend 48 hours to become the bare minimum measurement before attempting any similar movements again. If you follow all that I have mentioned, you must become capable of learning the pull-up eventually. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching.